percolate on a particular mix of odd and inspiring news headlines in Wendy's Coffee House. Newsmakers with a pin shot for the unknown, unexplained, and unusual share their experiences with UFOs, ghost encounters, near-death experiences, and more for your own unique blend of Wendy's Coffee House Curious. And now, here's Wendy. Late summer, early fall. I don't know. It's warm enough. It feels like late summer. Like, really late summer. (laughs) The leaves are starting to change. I have tomatoes, incredible as it may seem, that I did not plant. Ask me how. And I can't tell you. Planted four of these just, you know, regular beefsteak tomatoes. And I have at least 10 or 15 other plants that decided to just come join the parade and now they're actually growing up into a tree beside it. These, these are, they're kind of a cherry tomato or grape tomato, something like that. One, it looks like it's a hybrid, but it's a moderate-sized orange color. And I have no idea. I think the birds in my neighborhood have just been, you know, <laughs> very generous with their supplies and uh, added to the mix. The thing about this, is too, is that with the yard, before my husband and I had talked about how much we really liked elderberries and, were, you know, would love to have maybe a winery and deal with elderberries and that kind of thing. And all of a sudden we had an elderberry bush. Now there are three or four that just showed up in the yard. So somewhere along the line, something is helping to expand our garden horizons. In the meantime, though, um, just this is barbecue season two in Kansas City. This is the Midwest, the heart of barbecue. And there are so many options, it's hard to choose. We've got Johnny's down the street. We also have... Um, one that I like, the Wyandotte Barbecue, and there's so many, it's hard to narrow them down, but I just saw a, a little thing on Facebook about one I haven't heard about that is a legacy, like, oh, almost 40 years in Kansas City, Jones Barbecue, and these are two gals who are pit masters, and so this is one I'm thinking maybe about checking out because that's, uh, it's not that far away, Call Drive, I think is what I saw the address, and then the other thing I wanted to mention, Floating KC, if you need a little bit of de-stressing, kind of, you know, the transition here after we got out of that Mercury-Mars retrograde stuff that sent everything just off the charts in terms of the things that didn't happen did and things that needed to happen didn't, those kind of things. Well, Floating KC, 30% off for your first float, okay? Got you covered. And the last time I went, of course, it's never a dull moment. This time I'm in the room where I know there's a ghost. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Anyway, I had an experience, <laughs> and um, the deal is, I was I kept hitting the wall. This is not you're not it's it's there's no waves. It you're just it's very very calm, and I'm bumping into the wall. I'm thinking this is this is claustrophobia. I can't keep doing this, and I realized I'm fighting it. So I stopped, and everything calmed down. I'm in stationary the rest of the float. Toward the end of the float, something pulled my hair. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Just a heads up. And yes, you weren't imagining all of this. It was fun. So little things like that. That's enough of that. But at the same time, um, for the most part, it is incredibly de-stressing. And for the for that, um, I I usually meditate much more quickly. Uh, it's just that there's some entertainment sometimes goes along with that when you're an intuitive. The story that I wanted to point out on the Internet, I love Phantoms and Monsters. It's one of my favorite sites, blog type site. And the, the latest, one of the latest encounters, September 10th. I didn't believe in aliens until I had an encounter. Go there. You like paranormal stuff? That's good. And then check out the interview with the Bradshaw Ranch and Jocelyn Buckner, my previous guest. Now, getting into stuff that's really mind over matter, energy work, one of my favorite guests and an incredible person to see in, if you can, up close and personal, in the flesh, and you know, have an actual hands-on experience, is Ed Edwards. And Ed is back right now. He's uh, hasn't. We haven't updated just yet, but there's a lot of stuff in the works. One is like a documentary, and then there have been more studies and research. Ed, you are so busy. What's up? I'm, ru- <laughs> I'm running all over the country. They got me going crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm plugging me in. Um... Our project at the UVA DOPS lab is they learned so much about me that they want to learn a lot more faster. So they're going to add a lab at the Monroe Institute, uh, which is about 40 miles south of Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, up on a mountain there. And we're putting in a special energy body research lab. And it's going to have a copper wall array system that will uh, 
monitor and detect the voltage pickup on my body. I've already proven at UVA that I can increase the electrical field voltage on the surface area of my body uh, several thousand volts. That is incredible. Just, uh, hold on, hold on, just a just second. Just, them out. just a second, because on your webpage, I also saw there's audio with doctor, the doctor who um, is part of this yes. experience at the University of Virginia. And that's amazing because what I see on your website is you also have the audio from the doctor who's studying you there at the University of Virginia, the Division of Perceptual Studies. This is fantastic. Yes. Uh, he was on a radio show called Shattered Realities, and I just allowed me, they allowed me to take that clip off of it. And so I just kind of pieced it together to give a little bit of his background. And then he talks about the strange anomalous effects he's uh, getting out of my head as compared to what normal EEGs are. When you mentioned that copper, the, the copper, what is this? Is this like the copper, copper room? Wall. Copper wall. Ingo Swan talked about going to, I believe it was the Menninger lab, the Menninger facility in Topeka, Kansas, and saying his life changed after the experience in the copper room. Is that anything like that? Do you know? Exactly like it. They're building a lab exactly like the Menninger Institute there. Okay. And uh, I'm. they're going to, they're going to have like a wooden stool in the middle of this copper wall array, and I'll sit on it, and then I'll start building the energies up, and they'll look at all how much I can increase the electrical fields. There is something about that setup that's absolutely incredible because it, it amplifies in energy and, and frequency, and mm -hmm. so that will be, I think, fascinating to find out what you achieve with your abilities I was uh, at the UVA lab. They had a little handheld electric field sensor, and they had me sitting on a stool where I was totally isolated from ground or any static or any carpet or anything. And I sat there, and they held the meter up to me. Then I started working my energy, and then over a period of about um, 20, 30 seconds, I built it up to nearly 5,000 volts uh, voltage on my surface of my skin radiating into that meter. Wow. Now, there's no amperage there, but there's a lot of voltage there. Hmm. Okay. So, in, in layman's terms, <laughs> what do you do with when that? I, when I, what what when is I that? Put that much, yeah. When I increase that voltage to that level in my hands, and then I get my hands around people. So, here's an example. I've gotten real good here lately at making neuropathy go away from people's feet. And all I have to do is let them leave their shoes on, and then I get my hands under their feet and move them up and down about a half inch to an inch away from the bottom of their shoes. And they light up like crazy, and they feel the electricity being emitted from my hands run up into the nervous system of the bottom nerves in their feet, and they get their feeling back. What the, we've, we've determined uh, hypothetically is that uh, when I apply this energy at these levels backwards through a person's nervous system, I cause the healing mechanisms in the far side of the damaged area or the burned out section of the nerves to start uh, functioning and cause a reconnection from the far side toward the back side. Wow. Okay, question so is... We're doing the whole experiment. So we're setting up to do a lot of research. Now, how long, that. for the people that you've already done this on, how long are, do the results last? Permanent. Really? I haven't had anybody yet. And I, talk, I see some five years later, and they haven't had a bit of problem out of it since. Okay. Yeah, that because that's the next question is, is how, you know, is this something that is a one-time thing, or you don't have to keep going every it other It appears week? to be so far. I mean, I've had a couple people that I've had to give a little booster to, but... Uh, most of them, it's been a complete turnaround. Okay, what we're going to do, you, if, go ahead. Mm -hmm. that go was ahead. If you look on my YouTube site, you'll find different videos of me applying energy to people. Okay, and I already know that when you posted the preview for this on Facebook, you said you were going to do a demonstration, so we can't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, exactly. so let's let's not make anybody wait. If you have not heard Ed's demonstrations before, this is a thing that is really not time. Um, it it doesn't have to be at the actual moment. It's it's that's the amazing thing about the quantum stuff. So we'll explain more about that. But uh, Ed Edwards is my guest. He's an energy worker, and uh, we'll be checking out more of what he has is doing what's coming up and how this stuff works in the next break. You're listening to Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Be back in a few.
Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Thanks for tuning in. It's energy work. And this stuff is so fascinating. And I don't know if you have ever experienced anything like what Ed Edwards does. If so, then you know what we're talking about and you're ready to get tuned. If not, just, just um, I guess, distance yourself. Shut off that little thing that says no and try what if. All right. Give yourself a chance to suspend disbelief and see if you can go with the flow. So, Ed, this is something that you do for people on location. Um, you, you know, you don't have to. You, you do it by Skype. You do it in person. But it's something that you explain as being non-time specific. So it happens whenever you happen to tune in to what you're doing. It still is active. So you could re-listen to this podcast or this broadcast and feel the same effect or feel a similar effect. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. Time does not control this. Why? When I do my when I do my energy, and I'm talking on the radio, or whatever phone or anything, there is a 2.2 hertz signal coming embedded in the audio, coming from my brain through my audio, and that gets recorded into the recordings. That low-level frequency then, when people listen to the recording in the future, that low-level frequency that's below the level of human hearing, their brains can pick up on it, and it triggers their brains to access the quantum universe to this time sequence of this event that I'm doing. So when I do it here today and I demonstrate the energy, it's all being recorded on your show and being recorded in the quantum universe where time and distance and space have no control. So it's there for eternity. That's really, that's cool. It's like a hemisync. It's basically, this is embedded into the audio. So, okay. So without any further explanation, go ahead and give us a... the access to the quantum universe code is embedded in my audio. The actual energy is over there and comes to people through the quantum field. They're only brought into awareness through the recorded of the show. Wow. So I'll go ahead and I'll start. Now, I'm going to be quiet, but if everybody in the listening audience would stand up, most of you, if you can, you'll get the strongest effects and have your feet close together. And I'll start doing what I'm doing for and be quiet for about 30 seconds. And, Wendy, if you'll fill the blank space with what you feel. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stand up just for. Okay. First thing I feel is backwards, like it's coming through the microphone with a little bit of a shove. And um, so I'm holding on to the <laughs> to the console. Um, I have rubber shoes, maybe sandals. Maybe that's that's helping. But and yeah, maybe I'm more sensitive to this. But this is this is like a little burst of um, it's like a um, oh man, maybe it's more like a a jacuzzi because this is really again this mm-hmm. is going front and back from from for me for and you know this doesn't mean it's going to be like that for everybody. Okay, I'm just going to put my feet a little further apart. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what it should be. I'm just pushing and pulling on you. I'm okay. changing the fields and projecting them. So right now, I'll pull you forwards, and this will pull you forwards now and in the future. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what just happened. What happened was I the center, yeah. the, my sternum, okay, right here, this, all of a sudden, I felt my head go back, and that was, you said, I'll pull you forward. I was already moving toward the microphone. So, and Mark in the other room mm-hmm. is <laughs> <laughs> He's grinning like, okay, a little puppet on a string here. All right, so yes. Yeah. This, this. Okay. Now I'll reverse the polarity and push you all backwards. Mm. Okay, well, that's a little more gentle. <laughs> that's a little more gentle. Oh, I don't have to float now. When it kicks in. <laughs> I just, just, see, this is all, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now I'll let it zero out, let it bounce. Now, with your feet fairly close together, I'm going to take you sideways. So I guess I'll take you to your right first. Ah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at first, I kind of leveled out. And then, yeah, you're Uh right. A slow, it's like a slow, almost like a little bit of, um, oh, 
like a rubber band connected to you, and it starts stretching and increasing the pressure. Yeah, and I'm it's, it's a spiral. I keep I keep going back and mm-hmm. forth a little bit to the left and more more toward the right, so I can feel it. And, just, I, and now know. I'll pull you to your left more. Good. It's just amazing when you stop and do that. Then I stop right mm-hmm. there. I had to put my hand on the console again to to <laughs> to balance myself. And it might be mm-hmm. because I'm also trying to stand more on my forward on my uh, toes just to kind of give it more lift and mm-hmm. to be more a little more responsive to what I'm feeling. But um, now, if everybody will hold their hands as if they were holding a basketball, and just barely in and out, don't you feel a pressure field? And I'll send a signal to see if I can wiggle a few of your fingers. You're holding a basketball. Here it comes. See if you feel a wiggly sensation in the fingers. See, I'm still feeling energy through, through the floor. Well, you will. You feel all the other energy, but then you'll feel an extra signal in the finger muscles. It's like um, numbness almost. Uh, little, yeah. Little little um. Pricklies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the very tip. But what I also am feeling is that pull toward, toward for me toward the microphone. So it's amazing. It it yeah. is that center that uh, sternum again that that chest area, where I feel this um, draw a pull a lift whatever it's it's mm-hmm. a, a forward. So it's pulling me into the I guess the frequency the vibration. And I'm sorry if you're listening to this and I'm having to talk over it. I apologize because it it takes away from from you being able to really you know hone in. But just to give you an idea, so it isn't dead air and we set off alarms because that's what happens when you're on air and you have dead air. Everything goes bonkers. And um, so that's part of why I have to keep talking. But a lot of this has to do with also giving Ed a little bit of feedback of how it's working for me. So you may experience something a little bit different. But again, uh, I have to kind of keep the audio going or we have issues. Yeah. Anybody (laughs) anybody out there in the audience listening to this if they have aches and pains and problems they'll notice an improvement in them a little bit well fortunately i don't think it'll keep them from feeling anything as much energy as i am getting from this it's a wonderful (laughs) little amplifier and it it, you know you just feel like i said earlier a puppet on the string but the energy is coming more from my torso and the you know the spine i'm feeling it up and down from you know from my hips all the Mm -hmm. way up to that sternum that that core area is where I'm feeling the energy activate and then it goes on down through the um, grounding through the floor so uh, it's pretty impressive and it's just you know I I wish that people could see these things more frequently on a on a broader scale to see how much this does work and the intensity of it I've got a minute uh, 45 seconds left I want to get into the next break but Ed for when we come back they're doing a documentary on you and so Correct. I really want to talk a little more about that and what people will see, what they can expect. And then you all, you also teach, you also do individual, like for somebody who's listening to this and saying, all right, that was way too much talk. I want to, <laughs> I want to have my own experience. Yeah. We'll talk about how they can get in touch with you. In the meantime, you can check out while you're listening, ededwards.com. That's the website with the details and the background. But the documentary will, I think I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with for this. And that copper room, I tell you, if that is anything mm-hmm. like what Ingo Swan went through, that changed him. That changed him. It's, he, he, was, he said it was different. It was harder for him to shut things down once he had that experience. So Ed Edwards continuing to send energy as I'm chattering away. Again, my apologies. But for me, this stuff is real. That's why I find it so fascinating, why I really want to share it and get the word out. Because once you've had, like he's talking with the neuropathy in your feet and having a healing experience where it's gone, doesn't come back, that's mind-blowing. It's also a release and freeing. So stick around. It's Wendy's Coffee House. And by the way, we had to reschedule our Skinwalker Ranch interview because he's way too busy. And George Knapp can't do days because he actually has a job. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out how to work that one in. In the meantime, though, there's a whole lot more stuff going on in the world to keep us occupied and curious. And Ed Edwards is one of those curiosities worth exploring more. 
Back with Ed in a few minutes on KCMO Talk Radio, Wendy's Coffee House. Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Thank you for tuning in. You picked a good time. We're working with energy. And I love this stuff because for me right now, after that little tune-up with Ed, I'm absolutely jazzed. I'm sitting here bouncing. It's like, I, wow. So that was a nice pick-me-up. I need to send it to my cat who has cardiac, well, it's, it's um, cardiovascular disease, which means there are four medications involved, and she's only bitten me twice. So we're figuring out how to get her to take the stuff that tastes really, really, really awful um, in a way that I don't have to worry about losing fingers. <laughs> I love my cat. Uh, she's, she's a oh, beautiful calico, 14. But this was one of those things where <clears throat> there were no, no, uh, no other alternatives. And she's taken it like a trooper. She got a good result from the vet. And, um, and matter of fact, I have another cat who has been bothering her. And my husband w- was saying that he heard this scream and he thought, what the heck? Cat scream. And apparently <laughs> the one who's been bothering her, bothering her came out like a little black streak Running, 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 and she's right behind him going, oh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so so this energy, I'm going to help. It'll. I know my cat will feel it, too. That's just the way this stuff works. Ed, it's Ed with two Ds, ededwards.com, okay, because th- we want to get the right Ed, and Ed is a, a common name. So, But Ed with two Ds stands out. Hey, Ed. <laughs> Does that explain Hello. it? Is that a little better? That's it. My mom and them knew I was going to be different, so they went ahead and added an extra D in my first name. So it's E D D. Supercharged. Word. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, th- and that's it. I really do. I do feel an extra boost from that. So thank you. I, I, that's that's a, amazing. The other thing, yes. um, you travel with Sanjay, your dog, and is a poodle, and he's Correct. he is an incredible presence. A golden doodle. A golden doodle. Okay. He is, a, I mean, what? How tall is he? Like he's like, he's four he's feet. Big. He's up to. He's up in between my knee and waist. Yeah, and you're tall. Yeah, yeah. So, so when this dog comes in the room with Ed, it's like, whoa, dude, and he's very regal. It's almost like you know the you expect him to wear maybe a top hat and tails, and he just he's a he's mm-hmm. quite quite a character. So, do you work with animals too? Yes, I do. Um, in fact, a biggie now down in Florida, and that's where I'm headed as soon as we get off the radio show. Uh, I've got six humans and two horses to work on down uh, there. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not, and horses are and really horses, good. At that. We've made videos of the horses. They're this young, big. When I start locking the energy in, and then they do real good for their owners during the jumping for the next day or so. Yeah, the buzz I'm talking about here. I'm bouncing mm-hmm. in the seat. Okay, I can get that. All right, so with the di- this is a um, documentary. Do you have any idea the time frame on that? They're, we're trying. Uh, they told me they're trying to get the trailer out here uh, in the next month, within the next month. And the Sundance uh, film people, that's where the final film or movie will come out at. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, done, it's being done by Maxie Cohen Studios in New York City. She's a well-known documentary filmmaker in Soho or New York City, New York. Well, and uh, okay. she's been doing it a long time. How long has she been following you? She's been following me a year and a half, so she's been filming me in New York City, and uh, she's been going, sending her video crews and interviewing the scientist uh, uh, at the DOPS lab and interviewing John Cruz with the Ryan Research Center about them studying me over the last years. So she's compiling all that data and information on what they have learned about me. Plus, they're filming me working on groups of people where I'm uh, applying this energy and teaching it and primarily demonstrating. And then what's fun is they'll put two film crews following me, and I'll go walking through New York City, lighting up people going down the sidewalks. And, I mean, I'll light them up good sometimes. <laughs> so they just look at me funny. Film crews are filming on each side. Street, you know. Okay, so they, do they know you're doing it, or just look at them with that quirky look? I try to. I look at them that quirky look. I try to catch people that are wearing casts or something, and walk up, and say, "Hey, can I show you something with energy?" And, uh, and I say, "Are you hurting?" 
And most of them say, yeah, because I'll sense them hurting ahead of time. And I say, well, I'm demonstrating this, and I got people on both sides of the streets are so filming, and we're doing this documentary. Can I demonstrate what I do? And mm -hmm. then you just whatever. And I'll light them up right out there, and it freaks them old people out like crazy. <laughs> okay. So that go for it. Yes. Some of them just look at me, son. Well, and we won't get into your church story from when you were a kid just running amok with your energy. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll let them listen to other shows for that. But, yes, um, Ed has been okay. practicing this for his life, for lifelong, you know, um, abilities Correct. have been there. I, I also want to mention the Sundance Film Festival. That's early in the year, January and February, I think. I, I was looking at the 2019 mm -hmm. schedule. January 24th is when it starts, ends Sunday, February 3rd. So this trailer will be probably more like a December, late November Debut. Yeah, something like that. Uh huh. Okay, because they have to get it yeah, ready to. Like so, with that, um, this stuff that you're doing with the Monroe Institute, when is that room, when is that supposed to kick in? Well, I'm going out there in here. Uh, as soon as I get back from Florida, I'll head back to New York City, and then I'll go back to UVA and then the Monroe and work with uh, Ross Dunseef and help him finalize construction on that lab since I have many construction backgrounds under my belt. So I'll help him finish building the lab, and then we'll start our studies there, hopefully by the end of October. Okay, what's the deal with the Rhine? You're working with the Rhine group as well, the Rhine Research. I've been with the Rhine since 2008, uh, when I was kind of semi-introduced to him, to Dr. Steve Bowman, and he had a medical condition, so I gave him a demonstration like I did to you right there over the telephone, and it got his attention. He asked me to come over there, and they did put me in the bioenergy, biophoton lab and had me do my energy, and I just freaked him out, and I've been freaking him out ever since. <laughs> so you, you, put, you put the Ryan Research Center and then my name in Google, and you'll find uh, different, different articles and things about me in there. Well, and you uh, too. Yeah. They, yeah, they proved PK is real with me. Well, and that's the thing. People can get all of these anecdotal stories and say, look, I've experienced it. This is how it works. But when you get actual research with the documents, the in instruments, and in a controlled environment, then people start taking it seriously. I, th I took it seriously when I had the results because it's once you feel it, there's no doubting. There's, it's like, wow, this works. This is incredible. And also the fact that you teach it and you try to get people, since you've been, you know, you were a kid, you said your grandmother, did she also, you said she had healing hands as well? Correct. Uh, anytime she did it and I was within, you know, 20, 30 feet of her, it would make me tingle all over. Mm -hmm. I okay. would be, my grandparents owned a photographic printing studio here in Clayton, Georgia called Edward Studio. And I started helping my grandfather in there when I was eight years old. And I learned the dark room and how to print and run the lab. And so by 11 and 12 years of age, I was running the dark room, doing all the printing, loading the film and all these interesting things. And then when people would come in the studio for grandma to do healing, she'd take them back in the portrait area. And when she started doing it, I would be just tingling like crazy in the dark room. <laughs> and it would mess up. I would mess up film that I was loading if she was doing it when I was loading film because I'd find my handprint in the film. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden there's these little light light flickers and stuff that is not really helpful when you're trying to make a nice, beautiful photo with no problems. Exactly. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ed, Ed Edwards is my guest, and it's Ed with two Ds, Edwards. And we are going to come back and talk a little bit more about what this is like when you feel this energy, how it works, and how you might be able to do it yourself. Because he's been practicing, and he gave you a little tease earlier, but we're going to come back and just so people can do it on their own without having anybody in it see the results. That's pretty impressive. It's Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio. My guest, I've, Ed's one of my favorite guests. When I, he first demonstrated me, for me, this energy over the phone, and that's how I was like convinced immediately all right we have to do a show <laughs> we've, we've got to share this you have to be seen and heard and experienced and since then he's been doing a whole lot of that sharing and um well, i wasn't the first one it was just it just was a lucky lucky happenstance that i stumbled onto ed and and his work and i'm so thrilled that i that i know and can say this is legit 
it's something that once you experience it, there's no doubt. You just you say, wow, and go from there. But you could also have your own experience. If you want to get a little bit more background and really have a chance to see what this is like and learn more about it, you can become a member on Ed's website. Ed, you want to explain how that works? Yes, if you'll go to my site, ededwards.com, E-D-D-E-D-W-A-R-D-S.com, and then register as a member. They can either register straight out as a member on a free membership, or they can sign up when they sign up for one of my events in the event tabs, you know, like for classes to learn how to do this stuff or uh, tune-up rooms. I've got a de-stress room, and I've got an anti-aging room. So they're all kind of mixed in, and they're going to be different events that I will post in the events tab. And for the first-timers, when they – sign up for an event that will automatically register them as a member on my site and put them on my newsletter that I maybe get one letter out a month you know I get accused of not doing enough yeah so, <laughs> yeah okay I, it, newsletters yeah, take time mm-hmm. okay now I want to get so back they, oh, go ahead yeah go ahead I was just saying, I once get... they register get all on there I will do zoom webinars and then I teach through there and do my tune-ups through there all right, so once you're all signed up, I do want to get some more of this um, background because this is something new I didn't realize with your Cherokee background. Um, on the website, you've added a little bit of the details about why you're in the area that you are and the energy that is that, that comes from that. Yes, my grandmother that did the hands-on healing, uh, her and grandpa basically were from this area and Bryson City, North Carolina, which was the, the center town of the Katua Nation, which... Uh, Anunnaki, basically. And they, in the ancient history of the Cherokee Indians, the Anunnaki came to my county here and they labeled it as one of the t- seven towns of Katua. And the base town is Bryson City, North Carolina, which is about 30 miles or 27 miles from right here on up toward the Smokies. And that's where the base was. And these Indians came up here from a small island in the South Atlantic. And they came because warring nations kept attacking them because they were scared of them. But they were always victorious. But they got tired of it. So they just left out of the night one night and brought all their knowledges, their libraries, their wisdom, their teachings, and all their skills up here to my county. And stayed here from 400 A.D. on up and then mixed with the uh, Iroquois Indians and formed the Cherokee Nation. And then went on to be the basically the religious fathers of the Cherokee Nation and supplied them with all their knowledges and stuff. And so that was uh, where this energy I've got come from. And so when they in 1800s, they started the Trail of Tears here in my county because the government at that time had found out about these Indians with these special powers. And they started trying to break them up and they drove them out of here and drove them toward Oklahoma. And that's where the Katua Nation went, all but three of them. Three of them hid out in the Smokies and up here in this North Georgia mountainous area. And one of them was my ancestors. See, that's what's so uh, fascinating. And so, that's, the, the, and what, so the scientists seem to believe that this is in my blood, but yet I can teach it to anyone of any race, of any color, or any culture, of any language. You know? When, so it's, I can teach it to anyone. Not, not maybe not to my level, but I can bring adults up to where they can uh, do stuff on themselves to make pains go away real fast or do things with their children and stuff, you know. But okay. I'm also setting up a children's class because I want to keep the children awake like I was, and then they'll be able to do a lot more than I'm doing now. I want to say, too, in terms of getting a little, uh, a quick lesson on this, the first time when Ed came to Kansas City and did his demonstration, I was practicing some of that energy work with, you know, holding the basketball and working on it. Now, I'd also been in in Ed's presence, and I think that is really, a, that's a, a jump start. So I was practicing on this, and I woke up in the middle of the night. I felt a spark shoot from my elbow over to my husband, like a shock. And I, this little white light spark goes over to him. I thought, whoa. So I think I was overamped. Does that make sense? Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, you just got it built up and you weren't processing it good. It jumped out of you to him. <laughs> it's like, surprise. So not that you're going to yeah. be around, you know, like a light bulb and shooting off sparks at everybody. But just so you know that the, the, there is something to this. And as you build and develop your energy, grounding is also a very important part of that. And I like the way, you know, we talked before about and, how you play uh, with lightning. Yeah, but listen to me. You don't ground in the understanding you know about there. You, If you go barefoot with what I teach you and you go outside and want to earth ground, it'll shock the <laughs> out of you. Thank it'll, you. It'll hurt you. Thank you. It will. This earth grounding is something you do not do with my form of energy work. So is that why I got the spark out of my out of my elbow? Probably so. I was accidentally grounded. <laughs> he was grounded, and it went from you to him to ground. Ah, okay, okay. Because I'm like, what the heck happened? And it was just, and it I didn't have somebody standing on ground, and I can knock them flat back with the juice sometimes. Okay, From yeah. From 10, 15 feet away. I, now, see, that I don't doubt that because what I felt just doing this little demonstration on the radio with you there and, you know, all of a sudden it coming through and, and really resonating at the sternum, feeling that um, push. It's like, whoa, that mm-hmm. is so incredible. And it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't hurt. You don't really feel like a, a hand touching you. You just feel all of a sudden this flow of, of, of energy, that a force that comes and engages you and, t- you know, turns you or shifts you, whatever, pushes, pulls, turns, it, it works. And that's because you develop that and you constantly focus on that and have since you were a kid, you're more of, you know, it would be like the Ph.D. You, you have this as just part of you automatically without having to work at it, where if you're teaching somebody to get their attention, that little thing with me and that spark going, I thought, okay, I need to back up for it and figure out what I'm doing so that I don't accidentally shock myself. And that, yeah, thank you for explaining that. We don't need to cause any problems. <laughs> so if you're listening That's to the show. How many years? Huh? How many, year, how many years has that been since I was out there? It's been about four years now. Three or four, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, the scientists that study me have been watching a steady curve upward of my energy levels increasing big time. Okay. Does that have to do with the planet as well? Because it's not just you. It's everything around us. Well, there's a lot of something going on, but uh, my electrical energy that can be measured, they're getting, they found out now my brain's operating at 94% capacity. Okay. Electrical capacity. Uh, Everybody the... else is 8 to 12%. Okay, that's a challenge. I'm also, <laughs> my brain also from the EEG brain mapping, you know how they say everybody's in alpha state of mind. Yeah. Sometimes they try to give them to meditate slip. Right. It freaked them out. My brain, part of my brain's in alpha, another part's in delta, another part's in beta, another part's in theta, all at the same time when I'm awake or asleep. That's, my brain yeah. has every level of conscious going on all the time. Even as we talk right now, I'm operating in every level of consciousness. Okay, we're going to drop. I'm not right brain. I'm not left brain. I'm whole brain. Yeah. <laughs> my, energy, my energy classes, listen to me, my oh. energy classes wake up dormant areas in your brain i think that's a testimonial okay yeah, yeah we got to get out of here i've got 30 seconds or so and thank you thank you i'm looking forward to the doc- documentary we're gonna i'll post this stuff on the website some links and everything again you're listening to ed edwards ed with two d's edwards.com is the website check it out and sign up to be a member in the meantime ed uh 40 seconds what do you want to leave them with well, let's just light them up real good and leave them grinning. That's what I do everywhere I go. Okay, we're focused. We're focused. Here it is. Here it comes. I'll leave it going even after we sign off. I'll leave an extra little wiggle in the juice. Thank you. we got music in the background, which kind of amplifies it. You can't, can't doubt that. Hey, thank you for listening. It's Wendy's Coffee House, KCMO Talk Radio again. Ed Edwards, my guest, energy, lightning, sparks. You got it. See ya.